The Qsys Designer software offers you a wide variety of customization when it comes to changing the visual style of your controls. This gives you a lot more creative freedom when you're designing the user control interface, which is how your end user will be operating your system. Maybe they'll through a UCI uh, viewer on their desktop or on their iPhone or their iPad. So, in this tutorial, we are going to change the appearance of a gain fader, but you can do this to any control that you can pull out of a component. First, let's shrink this left side pane. We don't really need it right now. Let's make a sample mixer by going into the schematic library, clicking Audio Components, Mixers, and dragging a matrix mixer into our schematic. You can double click any component in the schematic and drag an element into your schematic layout. We're going to drag the first gain fader over here. Let's go ahead and make many copies of this exact same gain fader because we are going to be changing the style of it. We want to show you that it doesn't change the functionality. So let's make a total of six of these and that way we'll show you the difference of each of them. Now, when you click on the gain fader, you'll have access to the control properties over here in the right side pane. You can change the color by clicking the fill panel and selecting a different color for your fader. You can do that for every single one of your controls. Now, you also have the option of changing the style that each of these controls is going to look like. For instance, right now they're all as a fader, and that's a very familiar tool for many users. But you could change the style to be a knob, you could change it to be a text field. Let's change this one to be a button. That one's going to simply toggle it between 0 and 100%. That can be really useful for something like a solo button that you only want to turn something on and off. Next, let's change this one to an LED. Now, an LED doesn't have any functionality to it, but it could serve as a good warning indicator or a light. Same goes for the style of a meter, which will show you the level that it's at, but it's not actually going to give you the control of that level. And all of these, you can change the size of them and the color of them. Over here on the button one, let's make that button bigger. And on the button, you have a few more options. You can change the depth of the margin by typing in a new uh, field there, and you can change the corner radius if you want to make it a little bit more curved, depending on whatever you're, you feel is the right creative decision. Now let's go ahead and enter emulation mode. You can hit F6 on your keyboard, or you can click on emulate over here in the file menu. And now we can see that all of these are going to keep the same functionality. You can move your gain fader up and down, and you see that they all adjust. Same goes if you want to adjust your knob. You can use the button by clicking on it and it'll toggle it between 0 and 100%. And of course you can see that all of these are indicated over here in both the LED and the meter demonstrating where you are at. Let's say we want to copy the style of one of these controls onto another control. What you can do is you can grab the control you like, so let's grab this meter over here, and you can apply it to another control by hovering over that control. You see this little pop-up window pops up that says hold the control key to assign settings to the control. That's what we're going to do. You hold control and you uh, release your mouse button. Then you have two options. You can either transfer the ID or the style. The ID will transfer what that control is connected to. For instance, the gain fader in your matrix mixer. If you select style, then it will change the style, the visual appearance. So we're going to select that. Now you see that we have two identical meters. And if you apply this to multiple uh, faders you want in somewhere else, then you can apply your same visual style wherever you like. Now you do have one more option. You can create your very own controls by using the polygon tool over here in the graphic tools. So let's go ahead and click on that polygon tool and you can make any design you want. Let's make, a, let's make an explosion. Boom. Now we can uh, apply this same way. We're going to grab the meter, hover over our little explosion, hold the control key. And now you see that when we enter emulation mode, then it'll turn on and off just for anything else. Now the real benefit of all of this is that you can copy any of these custom controls into your user control interface. Simply select the control that you want and hit control C and then go over to your user control interface and copy it there. And that way you can create your own custom design interface for your end user to use on their desktop or remotely on their iPhone or their iPad. Hope that helps. Thanks very much and we'll see you next time.